La Nina remains in control, and the weather pattern is pretty much set across North America for November, right in here. We're going to talk about this and your local impact in terms of temperature and precip coming up in this week's Weather Watch. It's time to check in on the November forecast. Hello there, Matt Makins here with this week's Weather Watch. We've been watching the La Nina conditions, obviously. And again, if you look at sea surface temperatures across the globe, focusing on this region here, and I'll zoom in to those boxes. Those boxes I've highlighted because that's the ENSO region, El Nino Southern Oscillation region. That's where we look for La Nina or El Nino. In this case, we have La Nina. Sea surface conditions here are colder than average, as you can see by those blue colorations. By being colder than average, that translates into the atmosphere above. That forces the atmosphere above and across the globe to respond to this cold area of ocean. La Nina has stayed very, very strong. We're going into the third straight winter of La Nina. That's not unheard of, but it is rare. Only two other occurrences since 1950 have we had La Nina three winters in a row. And in fact, we're not just talking about cold La Nina, it's still very strong La Nina. All of these regions, these boxes here, these are the temperatures over time, over the past year, we have not seen much of a trend out of La Nina. There's some fluctuations within La Nina, but we're not done with her yet. We're looking at well into 2023 to get rid of La Nina and then see what the open door leads us to. Perhaps El Nino or we may sit in a neutral pattern. But what does this mean as we look at November? La Nina is still obviously in control. So there's your map across the globe. Again, let me fade that out a little bit and put in the weather pattern over the top. We have ridges or areas of calmer conditions, hotter, drier. That surround North America. One's over the North Pacific and the other's over the North Atlantic. That opens the door. That gives a chance for active weather, low pressure, troughing, active weather for North America, mostly on the west side. And take that configuration of what we've seen within the oceans and the atmosphere above and how it's been translating during the course of October and into very early November, you can take a statistical analysis of all of those elements. And within that, you can find some statistical strengths to years in the past. This is an analog forecast. When you combine the best fitting years statistically, whether that be processing of a computer to give you the hard number or actually just going through every monthly chart one by one, you can create an analog analysis. When you combine your best fit years, perhaps there's three, perhaps there's six, whatever fits the current pattern, you can create a pattern like you see on the screen. This indicates where we have ridging, where we have troughing. When you combine this element, get the pattern established, now we can turn to what the outlook may be based on this pattern. So with that in mind, this kind of orientation for November leads to some mountain snowfall and heavy rain along the coastal areas. But as far as being above average for precip, you got to look to the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. Also out close to the Great Lakes into the Ohio Valley may end up wetter than average, drier than average across the south and the east. As far as temperatures, pretty warm for the eastern half of the country, colder than average, likely across the west. That is a look at your November outlook and La Nina. We'll see you on the next Weather Watch.